Hi, this is Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, yes, I do have something on my forehead. Today is Ash Wednesday. It's the beginning of Lent for those of us who, uh, who mark that. I'm always reminded of some of the funny misadventures I've had uh, with Lent, with this season over the years. About 20 or so years ago, I had the idea of giving up meat entirely, not just meatless Fridays and Ash Wednesday, but all through the 40 days of Lent. No meat at all. And you can do that if you adjust your diet accordingly to make up for the protein and the iron. I didn't, I didn't make any adjustments. I just gave up the meat, and pretty soon I was feeling terrible and weak and could hardly get anything done. So don't do it that way if you're going to do it. Um, I've also tried giving up coffee entirely during Lent, and that puts me in mind to some advice I got from an old priest friend a long time ago. He said, don't ever give up anything for Lent that makes you someone others now have to endure. All right, so the suffering or the deprivation needs to be yours and yours alone, right? By the way, it's not just about giving things up. That, that is emblematic of the part of Lent where we, we accompany Jesus into the desert uh, and we try to be with him in that journey that he took. But I think Lent is also about anything that moves you closer to God. So I think you can adopt practices and habits and add behaviors and add things to your daily routine, whether it's saying a rosary or reading the scripture or praying a little bit every day or keeping a prayer journal. There's so many things you can add to your routine. It's not just about giving things up. And as we get older, frankly, it gets harder and harder to find things to give up because I'm finding I've already had to give up a lot of things for health uh, reasons that used to be things I could give up just for Lent. So keep that in mind. Add, don't just subtract. And we'll see you on the radio this afternoon to talk about this and many other things between 4 and 7 on KTSA. And our show is available on demand anytime, all the time, on the Jack Riccardi page at KTSA.com.